نحمده ونسلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to our institute the only foundation دار العلوم زيتونية here in Bradford just to give you a short history um, we started way back in so around 2004-2005 and we started in a uh, rented accommodation four five rooms six rooms a, a large detached property with about 40 pupils and about five teachers it was a boys' school originally, but within <laughs> within a few weeks and months, we had applications for a girls' school. So eventually, we needed to start a girls' school, and we ended up in these premises here, which you've probably seen the clips of, uh, as, is, as is being discussed. And uh, we bought this, and when we bought it originally, we had to borrow a lot of Karda Hassana in order to buy it. Uh, once we bought it, obviously, the building we bought was in a serious level of disrepair. And then we had to borrow more money in order to bring this uh, building up to standards. We now have at this building two schools, Olive Secondary Boys School, Olive Secondary Girls Schools. We have two elementary academies in which we teach uh, both Qaeda, Nazira and Hifs class. And also now we have the higher academy in which we teach the Alamiya, which is the eight-year course of the full Alim course. We have had, alhamdulillah, over the years, 30 old students becoming Hafiz of Quran, who are now leading Tarawih up and down the country and outside of the country. And we also have 30 odd graduates who themselves are now teachers and are doing other work of deen, alhamdulillah. But with that, we, we haven't just stopped at education. Alhamdulillah, we've also got a Darul Iftar downstairs, uh, which you would have again seen maybe a clip of, Markazul Iftar Wal Qadha, which is internationally recognized, alhamdulillah, and deals with not only the day to day affairs of the public, but also public bodies and commercial institutes. And similarly, we have a research center, which is the Institute for the Revival of Traditional Islamic Sciences, in which we carry out thorough research on various topics. And I advise you to go onto the website to have a look at what we've done. We have obviously grown and grown and grown, and now we've grown because the need of the community is there to provide for the community. So we want to continue to provide for the community. But as you can see with the building, which was built in 1905, few years older than me, is a building which genuinely runs into uh, disrepair. So maintaining a building of this size is expensive, especially being a grade two listed building in which we have to ensure that the same materials uh, are used when we're replacing old material, which can again can be very expensive. Similarly, we have still got outstanding cars left, some going back nearly 10, 15 years when we were first brought about, which we really need to give back. Uh, People have been asking for it last year and the year before, and unfortunately, we've not been in a position to pay it. So in total, it's a big grand sum of around £280,000. However, our immediate needs are in the region of, I think, thirty to 40000 But any can help. You can, you know, any amount of money that's given will assist us in continuing to provide this service because apart from the educational services we provide, the, all the other services are provided for free and helping people in difficult circumstances to overcome their issues and be able to live their lives according to Islam. So uh, assist, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you. You will benefit the community not only in Bradford, but in the UK and beyond. And also it will be your sadaqat al-jariyah in which you will continue to get ajr uh, either for yourself or for a deceased loved one that you can give for so that they continue to get the reward as we continue to do our work. Jazakum alaykum for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.